I'm going to approach the injured dog. <laughs> um, first assessing that it is safe to do so, no traffic or other injuries likely. We want to talk soothingly to him and not look at him directly. Hey, baby. Oh, I know. Are we nervous? Hey. Oh. What do you think? Oh, very good. We're going to protect ourselves and him with a towel so that I can relocate him. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Sit. Finn, sit. Yes, good boy. Good boy. All right, good boy. I've got a bandana that I'm going to twist into a loop. Ideally, it would be an even longer bandana. Good boy. I'm going to cinch it tight. If I can, also try and tie it behind his ears for some added safety. So he can't just slide it off in an emergency. boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Mm -hmm. I'm take the pulse and his femoral artery. Pulse is about 60. Take his respiration by feeling his abdomen move. About 25 breaths per minute. And your least favorite part, baby, we'll do his temperature. Move on the end until it may do rectal. Give me a little jump. I know. Good boy. I know, I'm sorry. Water. It has stopped at 100.9. We'll put you out of your misery. Good boy! Two ways to take temperature. For most injured dogs, especially not your own, you go for an axillary temp, tucked way up into the armpit. If they can keep their leg closed and close, this is even better. And then add about one degree once it's done. If it's safe to do so, you can also do a rectal temperature. I know, I'm sorry, baby. And that's the most accurate, especially if you're worried about something like a fever. All right, good boy. Good. Good boy. Very moist mucous membranes. One second refill time. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Keep us all nice and safe from you. Good boy. Good boy.
I'm gonna do a headlock. Boy. Let's pen you. You can still face the camera. Good boy. Wall pen. Good boy. And then go lateral. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Okay, all right. We're gonna apply a quick vet rep bandage to his hawk. Go ahead and get some loose material. I know, because you don't want to tighten it too tight and cause circulation. So I'll pretend there's a big old scrape here that we need to get home or to the vet. Lay that there. And get a little bit of tension, but not tight. And throughout the trip to wherever we need to go, I'm gonna check the swelling in those toes to make sure this wasn't too tight. 